Hello students, welcome to my online class. Myself Firoshek and today we are going to start a new chapter. The name of the chapter is measurement chapter 9. Now what is measurement? You know, measurement is the action of measuring something. Something means the measuring of length, measuring of weight or measuring of capacity. Suppose measuring of length. What is the length of this pen? If you talk about weight, so what is the, you know, weight of this work? How much it weighs, you know? And uh, if you talk about capacity, so what is the, you know, uh, capacity of this bottle means how much water it can hold. So we have to measure all these things in some unit, no? So let's start with our, you know, first length, measurement of length. Measurement, measurement of length. Some basic units, let me write here first. The standard unit, remember, the standard unit of length is meter. Okay, M. Is that clear? Meter. Then you know. Decameter. Then. Hectometer. Then. Kilometer. Okay. Decimeter, centimeter, and you know, millimeter. Okay, <coughs> it is you know, decameter. All these units are here for deca DAM. Okay, for deca DAM, for meter, it is M. Okay, hectometer, it is HM. Kilometer it is km okay for deci it is simply dm yeah dm then you know centi for cm and milli for mm now these are the basic you know the basic you know units of length generally when we talk about the standard of meter this is the standard of meter meter m okay now what is the relation between all these you know, units with each other? See, when you multiply millimeter with 10, it will become centimeter, means 1 centimeter. Means 1 millimeter into 10, means 10 millimeter gives you 1 centimeter. Again, if you multiply centimeter with again by 10, so it will become decimeter, means 1 centimeter into 10 means 10 centimeter gives you 1 decimeter again multiply by 10 10 decimeter 4 sorry 10 decimeter gives you 1 meter 10 meter gives you 1 decameter 10 decameter gives you 1 hectometer 10 hectometer gives you 1 kilometer so if we keep on multiplying with 10 we will get each intermediate units is that clear so if we say that 10 millimeter gives you 1 centimeter 10 centimeter gives you 1 decimeter 10 decimeter gives you 1 meter so it can you can say that 0 0 0 3 zeros means 1000 millimeter gives you 1 meter directly in this way you can find out same way 10 meter gives you 1 decameter again 10 hectometer gives you 1 hectometer sorry 10 decameter gives you 1 hectometer and 10 hectometer gives you 1 kilometer so from meter to kilometer if you see 0 0 0 3 zeros means 1000 meter gives you 1 kilometer so in this way you can find out now if you want to decrease the value now simply if you divide 1 kilometer by 10 you will get 1 hectometer again if you divide 1 hectometer by 10 you will get 1 decameter so in this way if you keep on dividing by 10 10 10 you will get the intermediate values is that clear so try to understand meter or the standard unit is falls under at the middle okay 
these are the one tenth one hundred one thousandth of the meter this is ten hundred thousandth sorry ten hundred thousandth of the meter this is tenths hundredths and thousands means one by ten you can say this one is one by ten of meter this will be one by hundred of meter this is one by thousand of meter sorry one more zero okay this will be 10 meter this is your 100 meter and this is your 1000 meter is that clear same way if we talk about weight means measuring the weight how much it weighs is suppose so just just now i told you about this box what is the weight of this box so this thing also you know you can measure it by uh, some basic units in place of uh, weight sorry meter in case of weight suppose measurement of weight let me write here W E I G H T weight we will use gram okay and it will be G M or simply G we can write okay gram or simply let me show you Hmm, simply G in your book it is written simply G okay so gram okay now, if we move towards the right hand direction it will be tenth means one by tenth so DC gram okay G R A M so DG simply centigram simply we are changing the unit here CG milligram mg okay this so all it will be g this will be g this will be g okay and also deca gram simply you can write gram okay this g hectogram g h z kilogram kg here also the topic is very much simple 1 milligram if you multiply it by 10 10 milligrams gives you 1 centigram 10 centigram gives you 1 decigram 10 decigram gives you 1 gram now 10 gram gives you 1 decagram 10 decagram gives you 1 hectogram and 10 hectogram gives you 1 kilogram or simply we can say that see here 1 2 3 3 zeros no so 1000 milligram gives you 1 gram or you can say 1000 gram gives you 1 kilogram so kilo represents what 1000 hecto represents 100 deca represents 10 dc represents 10th 1 by 10 centi represents 100th means 1 by 100 milli represents thousandth one by thousand so very simple in this way also you can decrease the values now if you talk about measurement of capacity capacity means you know the quantity or you can say volume means what is the capacity of this bottle how much water this this particular bottle can hold how much so the standard intro capacity is what liter remember that liter let me write here l i t r a liter here Capacity of volume, capacity, okay, liter, and it can be represented as L, okay. See, in now. Here also we will keep on changing the values here. All the G should be omitted by the L. Okay. DC liter L DL. Okay. Now same thing. Centi 
liter air LCL CL okay milli liter ml okay here also deca liter l dl hectoliter l is hl kiloliter l kl okay so you have all the values here here also see same procedure just like land just like weight here also see you can simply say that thousand milliliter three zeros are there thousand milliliters gives you one liter means 10 millimeter gives you one centiliter 10 centiliter gives you one deciliter 10 deciliter gives you one liter now 10 liter gives you one decaliter 10 decaliter gives you one hectoliter and 10 hectoliter gives you one kiloliter okay same way if you try to decrease the value you keep on dividing by 10 10 10 in this way you move to kiloliter to milliliter so simply see thousand milliliter gives you one liter and thousand liter gives you one kiloliter so this is the standard way of measuring comparison between all these things okay all the units i hope you have understood this part and as you know we are going to solve our exercise so uh, we will encounter all these units and whatever doubts will be there it will be clear very uh, nicely in that those exercise so thank you i hope you have understood nicely